This right here is Aptenopides sphenarioides, or the linear winged grasshopper. Members of the genus Aptenopides are quite elongated looking grasshoppers, and while they are flightless, the very thin, boldly marked wings make for an easy identifier for this genus. Now, every species in this genus is almost identical color pattern wise, and are best identified by the shape of the cerci at the end of the abdomen of the adult male. Aptenopides spinarioides is by far the most common species here in Florida, and this one's long cerci with a short hook shape at the end was a perfect match. There are many other more localized species that I'd love to see in the future. This species right here is Floratetix coquinae, and Floratetix was actually at one point treated as the same genus as Aptenopides. They were split in 2014. Floratetix are completely wingless, unlike the long wings on Aptenopides. Floratetix are much harder to identify the species, as the differences in cerci shape are much more subtle than in Aptenopides. Now I'd say this is pretty safely Floratetix coquinae based on the white stripe on the thorax as well as the range in Palm Beach County. This huge robber fly right here is the very distinctive species Triorla interrupta. Nothing else is quite like it, at least here in Florida. These are some of the most common robber flies in Florida and can be found in almost every kind of habitat. I've seen these guys in urban areas, open grasslands, marshes, and even scrubs. Far less versatile in terms of habitat is this beautiful Florida bee killer. This is my first time ever catching this absolutely massive species. These are almost completely restricted to scrub habitats and look almost perfectly like an absolutely giant version of a bumblebee. This individual is a male, as you could tell by the white tuft of hairs on the bottom half of the hind tibiae. These guys use their almost perfect bee-like appearance against bees as it makes them easier for them to sneak up on bees and wasps and then eat them. Despite these guys' huge size and striking patterns, they're actually quite easy to lose. I love how oddly cute these things are. This right here was my lifer, Diogmedes Assurians. Now Diogmedes could be a pretty tough genius to identify, but Assurians is one of the more easily recognizable species in Florida with those black dashes on the abdomen, the striking pattern on the thorax, those large green eyes, and the relatively slender and small appearance. A lot of our other Diogmedes species are much bulkier. This is my lifer, Prolepsis tristis, one of the strangest robber flies here in Florida. At first glance, I actually usually get confused and think this is a Midas fly until I look a little closer and see it's actually this beautiful robber fly called Prolepsis tristis. This species is pretty easily recognizable by the white zigzagged bands on the first three abdominal segments, as well as the very black, completely infuscated wings. This species has very long antennae for a robber fly, and is just kind of strange. I don't know how to describe it better. Here is also Prolepsis tristis. This species is definitely our most variable species of robber fly. And as you can see, this is a male just like the white and black one that we found earlier. The males of this species are extremely variable and come in a bunch of color morphs. This one being mostly black with some bright red on the abdomen. Something they all have in common though are those white zigzag bands at the base of the abdomen. These are the only two Prolepsis tristis I've ever seen, but I've seen pictures of the internet of males also having a yellowish golden color on the abdomen, as well as pictures of some being almost entirely black. The females are less variable and tend to be black and red, with actually red patterning on the thorax. 